Anthony, it's good to talk to you again, my friend. Listen, I watched the interview this morning with Andrew, and you had Sam on and Andrew and kind of talked about what it meant. That was earlier today. You've probably read some of the coverage. What are people maybe missing or getting wrong about this deal? Well, Brian, I'm going to tell you what you're missing is you're missing your tie. I thought you were like an old school guy like me. I, I'm trying I to pretend I'm young. All right, so just let you know, the next time I interview, I'm, com I'm coming with a Sam Bankman free T-shirts, okay, just so you know. But, but I, I think Tank what people top. are missing, you know, <laughs> just when I'm reading about the deal, I think people are missing uh, the closeness of the relationship that our two firms have built together and the, just the recognition that we're an asset management company. We had no debt going into the deal. Uh, you know, asset management companies are like software companies. They have people, they have some computer systems. So this has been a remarkably profitable company for myself and my family over the last 17 years. And Sam's investment is certainly going to bolster the company and strengthen it. I think we're going to grow and hopefully triple the size of the company. But I think that's what people are really missing. You know, did this you need a, did you need the investment? I didn't need it. No, of course not. And I think I that's what I, I, no, you've heard yeah. the mutterings, right? I think. Yeah, I did. Well, that's. That's journalism, and I love the mud raking, and I'm all about the free press, and I appreciate you bringing me on to just clarify things. I had, n I had no debt on the company, obviously done reasonably well in my 34-year career on Wall Street. We are going through a bear market. There's no question about that. But the alliance with Sam, the closeness to Sam, Sam as a person, and the culture that he's setting for FTX and the long-term vision that he has, I'm hoping I can take my three decades-plus experience and I can download some of those relationships and, 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 and some of the ups and downs of that experience, if you will, uh, and impart it into that great culture that he's building. And so that's what I think are the things that people are missing. But for me, it's been a spectacular day for me. Uh, we put $40 million of cryptocurrencies on our balance sheet to just make a statement to the marketplace about who we are and how we're thinking about the business long term. Yeah. The rest of the money is going into the growth of the business, the expansion of the SALT conferences, uh, we're doing one next week, which will be well reported by CNBC, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I've got the chain smokers coming on Wednesday night. So if you haven't registered, you have still time to register. But then we're going to the going to Singapore in November. And then we're going to Abu Dhabi in March. Going, so going really, globally. Yeah, let exactly. Me, let me jump we'll in very quickly, in Anthony. We're going Bahamas. to bring you back on sure. in a later segment in a few minutes here. But before we go, sure. FTX, I mean, at the beginning of radio, there were 100 radio stations, radio companies, right? The beginning of rail. You had about three or 400 railroads around the United States. They merge, some die, you end up with GM and Ford, a couple of radio companies, a couple of railroad companies. Is FTX going to be one of, if not the, survivors in that pure space? Well, I, I certainly believe that. You know, several months back, a Bloomberg uh, reporter asked me my opinion. I said he was the J.P. Morgan of cryptocurrency. If you understand the 1907 crisis, Prior to the Federal Reserve, J.P. Morgan stepped in and did the cleanup trades and bolstered the banking industry, ended up owning a big piece of U.S. steel. That is Sam today. But here's the beauty of Sam. He's a long-term, multi-level processing thinker. He's not looking at 2022. He's looking at 2032 and what he can become and what his organization can become. And so, yes, not only will he be one of the industry leaders, but I actually be he'll 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 be at the top of the food chain by then.